Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is FPV Wine, and today we're going to be talking about PID rates from a beginner's perspective. Before we get started, if you do like the content, please give me a like and a subscribe. And if you really, really like the content, please consider donating to fpvwine at gmail.com and chuck me a coffee, which helps so much. Massive shout outs to FPV Scurvy and Matthew Waite for sending some coffee donations over. So thank you guys, helps a lot. For some reason, people on Instagram have asked me a number of times what rates I use, which I don't know why they're asking me. I've only just started the hobby back in March. It's that eight months now? Uh, I can't do maths. And I'm going to take out the Crux 35 in the Flyfish shell with the Vista unit and see what rates uh, make a difference. I'm going to test out the Betterfly, I'm going to test out actual, I'm going to test out my actual rates, my rates, I'm going to test out my PID rates. And then I'm also going to do a linear line and see how the linear line matches up with how shaky it's going to be. Got four PIDs on this one. In Betterfly. We go into PID tuning and then we go into rates. We don't want to touch the profile. We go into rates and then I've got four set up. I've got my first one, which is the better flight standard. And then I've got number two, which is going to be actual. I've got number three, which is my rates. And then number four, we have got my rates, but linear. They're completely, the rate and the RC Expo zeroed out. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to test this out in the field. I remember Dodd, FPV, uh, did say use standard flight. So I'm going to test better flight again, see how that is. Interestingly, all of them say 667 next door to you know who. Got my GoPro. We're going to do the horrendous, I hate it. Apologies to everyone in the FPV community that does this, but I think it's such a loser thing to do. But I'm covering rates. So we're going to use the chest mount, which I've never used. And then we're going to be getting my thumbs in the video and see how see how the thumbs are in comparison to each rate. I've got my batteries charged. It's finally a nice day in October in the UK. Let's go out and test out the rates. I have no idea if I'm in focus or not, <laughs> but here we go. Rate one, right, we're going to go. Rate one, let's see how it is. Oh, it's so much slower than my normal rates. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, someone with a dog. Good times. A few moments later. Well, there you have it. Uh, that was that was the the landowner. Very very nice guy. Uh, thank you very much for letting me fly here. And uh, yeah, we just had a a good half an hour talk about flying he's a helicopter he's the local helicopter guy so he used to be a helicopter pilot so a really good conversation with him yeah again if you just speak to people politely you have great conversations i've met so many people just being out flying so back to it just to point out i brought the drone back he had a dog the dog was fine but i always make sure that um not to be flying uh, around people especially if they've got animals or pets and something to bear in mind is jack just said he owns sheep and it's really not a good idea to be flying near sheep especially when they're lambing and they've just been lambing now so between like october in the uk and january february time if you see any sheep in a field don't be flying your drones near them so rate profile one I need to get my goggles on wind's picked up a little bit which is annoying i feel like it's a lot more controlled this better flight version Oh, <laughs> oh, what is going on? Right, <laughs> didn't press record on the, the, the really cool... Oh, what battery power? Okay, so I've got 37% battery on my... Okay, we're going to change batteries. That's annoying. <laughs> definitely, definitely, going back to better flight, it's 360 degrees a second, I believe it is. And it just feels so much smoother <laughs> than my ridiculous rates I've got on.
Okay, so this is better fly and wow, like very controllable. I didn't mention how nice the day is. Right, let's bring it back. Let's go to pit two. Okay, number two, actual. This is going to be super interesting. I, I've never flown actual, I don't think. So let's go. Oh. Definitely more flicky. Oh, I'm not liking that. It seems that the... I think it's roll. is a little bit more twitchy. Not liking the... I, I don't think I've ever liked actual when I've tested it out in simulator oh I've run out of battery so we're definitely gonna have to do I think it's probably two pids per battery this is not nice not enjoying actual at all it's kind of what I remember and then we're gonna now next we're gonna go to my rates not, not liking that at all. <laughs> Let's bring this back. I'm going to try my rates now, and they're going to be fairly twitchy, but I've grown to really enjoy them. A lot faster spin, as you can tell. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking I'm getting less control with my rates because they're so twitchy compared to better flight, which is a interesting lesson to learn. But as you can see, Hopefully, it's still a little bit twitchier than Better Flight, but you can hopefully see that the control I have on this much, much better than actual, I feel. I mean, it's very much more twitchy than I was expecting it. So yeah, that's my rates, and now we're going to bring it back. We're going to do linear. So we're going to go my rates, but linear, which means it's just a flat curve. I can tell you right now, this is going to be mental. I can I can feel it. So linear is just going to be ridiculous, but we'll try it out. Oh, this is linear. Oh, what the? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I thought it was going to spin really fast, but apparently it's not spinning fast. Oh god, oh god, this is crashable. This is so slow. Wow, holy mother of the lord. So going backwards and forwards is fast. Oh, but that roll is so slow. What about... Oh, that's the same... <laughs> I did not expect that, this is ridiculous. Oh, it's so slow. I've got to be careful because I haven't got the control that I or the speed that I'd usually have with my rates. Oh, it takes so long to spin. <laughs> right, bring it back. We're going to go back to my rates and just compare that. That's just ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go back to my rates quickly just to finish off and then we'll go back and we'll we'll have a look. We'll go back to the studio and we'll have a look. My rates. Oh, good to be home. Good to be home. <laughs> this now feels really difficult. Oh wow. It's gonna have to take some getting used to from the bad rate.
and then I'm going to have another go on better flight because I mean, <laughs> used to that 100%. Right, gonna go back to better flight with a new battery. To make this a fair test, I have been using 850's CNHL and the FPV from Unmanned Tech. So they're similar weights, similar battery size. One more go with the better flight rates, which were really fun. I think this is gonna be more controlled again. Oh yeah. It just, <laughs> it feels like you've got stabilizers on. Better flight just is so smooth. This is the original settings and it's just I don't know why I've not changed. It's like Dodd says, just use the just use what they've already got set up for you. This is probably like hundreds of hours, maybe years, of people testing different rates. And I'm actually surprised at how much I'm loving the original. I am absolutely loving the original settings. A lot slower than mine, but it just feels so much more controlled. I have got the GoPro Hero Session without any stabilisation, so I'm interested to see how that's looking. No ND filter either, so it might be a little bit ruckus because the props on there are fairly old and bashed up. But yeah, this is mental. Really enjoying better flight. I think that's fairly good. I like that. I like that test, I'm pleased I did it. I thought I was going to be doing it for other people, I'm doing it for myself. So there we have it, the Crux 35 with a 850 battery and the GoPro Hero Session 5, probably a bit too heavy for it, really. I have loads of comments. I'm going to take it back home, have a look at the footage, have a little talk about it, compare. But there we have it, met the landowner, super good dude test out rates and I've learned a lot I've actually learned a lot and that's the better flights original setting is a lot better than I remember it to be and that mine are probably too jittery for me now thinking about it but I like to be able to flip really quickly there we go I guess it's getting that fine balance and practicing and also maybe like mellowing out that curve a little bit might help as well but yeah I learned a lot there back to me in the studio in conclusion what did I learn I learned a lot I thought I was doing this video for you, but I actually ended up doing it for me. I learned that actual still sucks and I don't know. Please let me know in the comments section below what actual's about because it's actually rubbish. Better flight was a lot better than I was expecting and my rates are probably still a little bit... They need to be finessed, I believe. They need to be finessed just a little bit more or I just need to get better, get the stick time in and just be a little bit less jittery. Although I was quite proud of a video I did after this with my self build and my 1804 motors, a lot more powerful. And I was very, very happy with uh, with how I flew. And I have to say as well, I was uh, a bit of a convert for the old chest cam. And it's made me realize that seeing what I'm doing with my hands weirdly helps. I mean, it makes sense because you're not looking at your hands whilst you're doing it, but then seeing what you're doing and this also applies to skateboarding is when you're doing a skateboard trick you might think you're doing it this way and then you see it third person you're like oh hang on no so the stick thing the chesty cam might be making a reappearance in future stuff for now i hope that helped people with rates if you're a beginner i'm still a beginner and it definitely definitely was interesting just seeing the different rates, uh, actual better flight and then my rates and then i do not know i still was meant to look I need to really do it for this video, don't I? Yeah, I'm looking at Better Flight right now. So I'm looking at my rate profile for, and it was my 1.8, 1.8, 1.6 RC rates, everything zeroed. And I should have seen in the max velocity degrees, 360, 360, 320. And I believe that's a rotation a second. And that's why it was so slow. That is, a, I think that's almost half. If you think 667, that is literally half of what better flight is. And as you can see, a linear line or a linear curve, as I like to say, I should have seen that before I went out. So I really need to retest a linear line, but with maybe a stronger, a stronger rate with a linear line. That would be interesting. But wow, learn a lot. I've learned a lot. If it didn't help you, it helped me for sure. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. 
I will see you in the next video. If you have any tips, information on rates, leave me a comment, let me know. Thanks for watching.